All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to do a quick lesson today on analyzing internet sources. And what we're going to learn how to do is uh, go and find things on the internet and to determine whether or not they're they're truthful and whether we trust them or not. And this is a really important skill, so uh, I'm excited to teach it to you. So uh, some objectives for today, you should be able to, by the end of this lesson, analyze the trustworthiness of an internet resource using its uh, top-level domain, its about information, who the author is, and links to and from the site. We're going to show you how to do that. And uh, also we're going to talk a little bit about Wikipedia, uh, so you can see how and, and when that's appropriate to use for internet research. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to start by talking about trust on the internet in general and whether we need to worry about it. And then we'll give you some methods for analyzing the trustworthiness of sources. And then together we'll go through some examples. So let's start with uh, trust on the internet and why we care about it. So the question is, why do we care about, about trustworthiness on the internet? Isn't, isn't the entire internet just true? Isn't everything that you, you read there true? Well, of course, the answer to that is no. Much and much and much of the internet is not true. Uh, and the reason for that is, uh, is, is, there's a lot of different reasons for it. One of them would be uh, spam. So the internet is filled with something called spam which uh, you know, it originally meant emails that were, were lies, emails that were advertisements uh, and not, not real information. But now there's actually entire websites that are just filled with fake information that are trying to get you to go there and click on advertisements so the websites can make money or maybe they're just lying for the fun of it. Uh, there's a lot of what we call spam out there, things that are not true, things that are there just to get you to go to the website. The other thing that's becoming unclear on the internet, if you can look at this picture, is that what is an advertisement and what is not an advertisement is becoming less and less clear. On the left side of this page, we have some, some these are actually from Twitter, the tweets from somebody. And then on the right side, we have the advertisements for different uh, children's groups. Um, but you can see there's not a huge amount of difference between the way these two things look. On the left side, this just looks like regular information, and so does this. But the right side is an advertisement, and the left side is real information. And so sometimes that's tricky to get through, another reason why the internet is not always accurate. Okay? And the last thing, and this is a really important thing about the internet, is that anybody can step up on a computer and put anything they want up there. And that is an incredibly powerful thing that was not available until very recently. We're very lucky to have this as, as a tool, something where anybody can post anything to anyone. Okay? But the problem is that anyone, including this uh, very intelligent young lady right here, can post whatever they want. So you don't know if it's true or it's not. Right? Anyone can post whatever they want. They can post something that's really accurate or they can post something and pretend it's really accurate but just be making it up.